Hey guys, welcome to Jason Explains Things. Today we're talking skid plates for my Toyota Tacoma that I've named Sarge. We're gonna be upgrading the front and gas tank skid plates to beefy ones from CBI Off-Road Fabrication. I'll show you how easy they are to install and we'll get them on a scale so you know exactly how much weight you're adding to your truck. I'll be giving you my honest assessment of them after having bashed them into countless rocks all summer and fall long. Ooh. <laughs> oh God. And stay tuned to the end because I do have a pretty serious warning about them, something I kind of wish I would have known a lot earlier. If you want to set for yourself, please use the link in the description. That helps out my channel at no extra cost to you. So let's jump back to a much warmer time when these skids had no scratches. Now there's a decent uh, thin but, but totally functional skid plate on the front. The gas tank is probably the most important upgrade. If you have to do just one, I do the gas tank because on the Tacoma, it's actually plastic. The new front skid plate offers excellent protection and convenience with these access doors so you can easily change your oil without removal. It's also made out of quarter inch thick aluminum to save weight. Steel is also available if max strength is important to you. The new gas tank skid plate is only offered in steel, and there are different versions for short and long bed Tacomas. Both skids come in either a black or TRD gray powder coat finish. I personally love the TRD gray and how it matches factory skid plates. There you go, there, now we're cooking with gas. Cut. Sweet. Woo! I got it in my eyes. Sorry, Toby. So let's find out exactly how much weight we're adding to the front of the truck because I know people are gonna comment about that. Skid plates, 199 pounds. These little punks weigh three pounds. 210.4. Pounds. Math. It was less than that. Okay, so it's 19. Wait. I'm so confused. Okay, we're adding 8.4 pounds to the front of the truck. That's the final number. Is that it? That is it. You showed us the calculus? 8.4. Nice. Math. Another thing I recommend for skid plate bolts is using some anti seize. Thanks, anti seize. Install the new front skid plate using the factory bolts in the front and the new supplied hardware in the back. Be careful not to over torque the bolts in the back because the mounting points are weak. Definitely an upgrade. Also, CBI offers a rear skid plate that covers the area directly behind the front, completely protecting the transfer case. I may consider adding this in the future. Well, hi guys, we're at the back of the truck now. Let's remove this uh, less than amazing uh, plastic skid plate. We've just got four 12 millimeter nuts. Can you use this as a... Uh, sled. A sled. Uh, oh, a kind of a terrible sled. Let's find out how much weight we're gonna add to the back. This weighs four pounds. This one is steel, so I don't think it's gonna be four pounds. 218.4. Four. So that would be 20.4 pounds. So in total, we're gonna be adding 28.4 pounds to the weight of my Tacoma. So the new skid plate is in two parts. Essentially, this is gonna be replacing the plastic one and you use the same four nuts that we uh, removed to put this one on. And then this is a little front skid plate uh, that's Fantastic, and, and honestly, you know, you can kind of see how it could get caught, so this is gonna be pretty important. And you have this little bag of hardware to attach this, but you wanna attach this first. I'm gonna leave it a little bit loose, and we'll tighten everything up at the end. The front skid is really easy to attach. Uh, it attaches to the skid plate we just installed with some carriage bolts that we're gonna put in just like that with some serrated lock washers on the back. And then for the front, there's a cross brace that we're gonna be using these to uh, attach to and we got some washers and more lock nuts. Chris, is this riveting for people? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> mm, no. <laughs> We come to Chris for honesty. <laughs> Trying to limit the shot to just one cheek so you stay monetized. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're welcome. I know what you're doing, <laughs> and I don't like it. 
Hey oh. Cool. Okay, with our front skid all done, we just need to tighten up the four original nuts and we're done. That's metal. Guys, I've been running these skids for a while now and I have some thoughts. First, the positives are these suckers are beefy. Even the front that's just aluminum has held up to significant abuse. Now for the back gas tank skid plate, I don't think I've actually hit it that many times in the past four months, but I'm still very glad that I upgraded it because again, it was just plastic and I have hit the gas tank skid a lot in my Forerunner, so I am happy that I upgraded that one. Remember, if you're gonna pick up those skid plates or anything else from CBI, please use the link in the description. It helps you make more videos. Also helpful, comments and subscribing. Oh, rocks. You hear that one? <laughs> I sure did. We made it to the top of Autanum Ridge. We've got views of Mount Rainier. We've got Mount Adams over there. Now my slightly negative warning to you guys isn't just about the skid plates, it's about armor upgrades in general. So let's recap for a second. Uh, in the short time I've owned Sarge, we've upgraded the skid plates. We've added uh, the uh, CBI Overland sliders, which are kind of heavy sliders. I believe they're 150 pounds. We've also added a Prinsu rack and gear that I run up there pretty much all the time. And with all those things combined, I think we have reached a tipping point where the front suspension has now begun to sag. I would guess probably around an inch, which is a negative, not just for looks, but also for the fact that now that front skid plate is getting much more of a workout than it should. That much of a gap on a stock one. And uh, yeah, probably about an inch of droop compared to this stock Tacoma. Jeepers. My advice to you is this. If you plan on never upgrading your front suspension, choose your armor add-ons sparingly instead of going with these larger sliders. And I think sliders are very important, but maybe go with the low profile ones instead because those weigh less. But the issue with this is, is that which skids to leave alone and which to upgrade is hard because these are all potential weak points. As for me, this slight sagging feeling I have is only a temporary problem because Sarge is about to get some awesome yet affordable suspension upgrades, including heavy duty springs. So be subscribed and ring that bell because Sarge is about to enter phase two. <laughs> okay, God bless guys, don't forget to do it yourself.